Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your message. You have Failure's Muse as your energy card here, number 28. Now, this, your card is, your, your whole reading I think is going to shape up to be quite a complex one. And I think it could be a complex relationship that is describing. Um, but it's not just about a relationship, it's about a particular time in your life. But it feels like this relationship is woven amongst all of that. Now, I wouldn't expect anything different from anybody but Aquarius. You know, that's particularly your qualities. Um, yeah. Now, Phileas Muse talks about feeling fear that you will fail at something. But facing your fear head on and then kind of giving yourself the gift of potential success by dealing with something head on. It's like, you know, it's kind of like avoiding an unknown, but now you are facing it because you realize that there's probably more to gain by facing it. And that, that it's like overcoming that idea that fear is treacherous and it's detrimental and it's damaging it's like you're what you're you're seeing it as it's not that serious you know it, that's how i'm that's how i'm picking this up now let me pull some extra cards on this Alright, so we have the lovers straight at the front. So that definitely tells me um, what I need to know. And what came through already is that there is a strong connection here. Gemini energy. And we also have Queen of Pentacles in your hidden. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo as well. And we also have... Um, Leo <laughs> took me a while. We have Leo, so those signs, those placements could be involved here in um, person you're dealing with or yourself. I think for you, you are coming into your own. It's a time where the Queen of Pentacles, especially with this Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody here that understands who they are they're quite grounded they have things they have not things they have energy to give to others and this also is somebody that is stabilizing themselves coming into understanding more and that could be the failures muse um, energy here is like while you're doing this it's like or the reason you're able to get to this cusp or this point is you have faced off this idea that something that you want to pursue is fearful. Yeah, because the King of Wands is also here. So it, it feels like the energy of you come to terms that something needs big energy. Something needs big drive. And you're going to give it that. Give that to it. Rather, is what I should say. You do have a King and Queen of Wands here. With a seven of swords so that kind of feels like a couple so this this shows up for me as this um this energy that is here no there's two things i'm seeing it could feel like queen of pentacles sometimes is a partner like a committed partner so for some of you aquarius you're coming into partnership it's like that energy feels like it's floating around you. But this king with a king of wands, right? This king is attached to a queen of wands already. So it could feel like there is somebody here that maybe is already attached, committed. But you're, for what, I don't know how, 
or how that's going to align but it feels like this could be your person now i'm not saying that to say that you know to kind of give go ahead to to step into people's relationships and all of that that's not what this is this is about understanding that maybe there's somebody that is aligning themselves to come into your life and maybe that partnership energy is setting itself up as you set yourself up and stabilize this person's coming towards you of course what it's saying is that this person's already um in a situation and so it could mean um a few things i think with the seven of swords it feels like this person maybe has denied um feelings here five of swords yeah it can feel like not trying to see that there's an opportunity here with you no i don't know what that means you know i'm not gonna say more about like being in third parties and all of that i don't know what it means for you and you would have to kind of put meaning to that and also put the underlying personal code of ethics along with that you know um I'll, that's what i'll say on that but the other thing here is that you could be aligning you could be you could be the person becoming this queen of wands. It's like you're becoming a good partner for somebody is what I'm seeing here. That's also another way to look at this. Um, now, let's look at the cards. We have already said so much. All right. The lovers here. Page of Swords. I think this is like with seven of wands. This is tentative. So this really feels like the failure's muse type of energy is like you know that there is something around you, you know that there's something strong here, but could it be? Could that be you know, it's like watching. This is somebody who is a very strong bond. I feel like there's a little bit of a wall up for you with the seven of wands. And so it's like while I'm watching, while I'm curious. I'm still not open fully. And that's kind of where this failure's news comes in. It's like maybe getting to the point of understanding that trying is not treacherous. It's just trying, you know, hurt and pain and joy and all those things are part of the human experience. And you can't really save yourself from that if you are actively living. Um, now, I want to look at person attached to you here they come up as five of swords this energy was woven into the cards i saw before so it tells me that that king of wands energy is this person now let's pull some extra cards on that All right, this person is like very clear about what's happening with them. Very clear. <laughs> this this is somebody that I feel like you have had a history with, you have a past with. Um, even though it can mean, even though these cards don't have to be related to you, but because it was tangled up with your reading, I'm I'm putting it together to say that there's an experience you have of this person i do think that there's a lot of like unprocessed feelings hurt regrets maybe just like it feels like okay i want to say like wallowing <laughs> wallowing in what was what could have been and with this two of wands it feels like maybe there's an intention this person is like forming an intention what if maybe if i did this with the page of wands kind of feels like that intention is propelled along by a curiosity a draw maybe uh an interest to explore the option this person is the emperor yeah okay 
All right, this remember what I was saying before about the suggestion of another person that could be an issue here. Um, there is an ending. This is an, this person shows up as an emperor, so somebody that needs to put some control in them, their life. They need to put some order, and it's a ten of swords attached to them. So it's somebody who they are probably going through some endings. Maybe they're facing that point. Like I need to have. Um, close some things maybe that was done to me but there's this chariot here so there's a sense of wanting to go forward but nine of swords this per this is like an anxiety thinking a lot about this which you should you know page of swords and the lovers all right so what with all of this it's to put this together it's like this person's thinking a lot, maybe watching, just kind of curious. Because it feels like this person has an in inclination, is that it? Intuition, a sense that you, Aquarius, have something to do with them. It's not like unfinished, is what I'm saying. Um, so on your side, I feel like you're also like page of swords comes out for both of you. Curious, wonder what would happen if this were revisited. Kind of feels like that. This person, five of swords, um, I don't think they want to be rejected. I don't think they want to lose. Um, I don't think. I think they're being strategic, playing a power game. Maybe they're trying to hold back and that can come off as like mind gamey to you um but yeah i think it's basically two people dancing around this idea that there's something more there we have to be more vulnerable for that something more so this is what i have for you aquarius um i didn't i realized i didn't get changes for better or for libra uh, let me do that for you All right, eight of wands. This is going towards something. I think Libra had Libra's person was in this energy, so I kind of wonder if you're dealing with somebody who's a Libra. Um, yeah, something here about this. Um, seven. Of, this five of swords is your energy, anyways. So, Aquarius, Libra entwined. Seven of cups scorpio as well so anyway this is what i have for you because movement towards the other person communication is going to be your grounding it's going to clear up uh, confusion and build trust so take care aquarius this is going to be your message and if you did like this please do like comment subscribe and i love to have you on another reading take care